Hi there, and welcome to AGRC 223, Plant and Animal Disease. I'm really excited that you've chosen to join this class, and this recording is meant to just give you a brief overview of how to get started in the course and to be successful all the way throughout. As you'll see on the screen here, I've opened Blackboard and gotten into the introductory screen, which brings you right to the coursework lineup. And I'll just kind of scroll my mouse around here and uh, point out a few things. The menu items are on the left here uh, in order, as you should see, in just about every class here at Kaskasi College. In addition to that, then here on the main part of the screen, is you'll see the lineup of coursework. And I have everything aligned in modules in the class. And you will start uh, after the getting started module with the practice activities, which is just a short little uh, syllabus quiz and a discussion to introduce yourself to the rest of the course. As you move through the course, you'll see I have material chunked into three sections. Uh, you'll take a pretest, and all I want you to do is really just take the uh, take the quiz that covers kind of a preview of the questions that you'll see in that particular section relating to the that section's contents. Uh, there's no penalty for incorrect answers. All I want to do is just simply gauge the knowledge that you have, and uh, you'll get a completion grade for completing that particular assignment. As you go through there then, each unit then will focus on a specific either disease uh, or insect or something of that nature. And I kind of alternate back and forth between plant, um, plant related diseases and insects and animal related diseases and, tr and problems. So you'll see it kind of migrate back and forth between one and the other. Each of these units has a recorded lecture that I've taken. In addition, it'll have notes oftentimes some supplementary videos, and then an assessment tool that will be with it. Notice that you will find exams sprinkled through the uh, course kind of evenly. Uh, exam 1 uh, covers the first six units of the course, exam 2 units 7 through 11, and then exam 3 covers units 12 through 17. Just understand as we go through this particular course, that we will move fast. This course moves really, really quickly online. It requires you to be in there on a regular basis, interacting with the coursework. And there's oftentimes going to be at least one assignment and potentially two um, available and due for you to complete every week. So I encourage you to keep up in the course content. Uh, make sure if you have challenges that you stop in and see me, shoot me an email, a text message, whatever it is uh, necessary for you to get your questions answered as I will be glad to help you. Calling your attention back over here to the left side on the menu area, um, you'll see that the link to the syllabus is over here. That is going to provide you with all the guidelines, the rules, the expectations of the course, um, in addition to how you will be graded uh, in the course. So I would call your attention to that and make sure that you go through that syllabus. All of my homework will be linked to the calendar so that you can see when things are due uh, and kind of how to plan your week. I like to make uh, almost all of your assignments due on the same day every week, so hopefully you can schedule around that. Then again, this coursework would take you right to the screen that you see. The discussion board we will use periodically. There's an Ask the Instructor forum in there in which any messages that you may have, uh, you are welcome to shoot out there in the Ask the Instructor area because more than likely other students have the same question. Any messages related to the course, um, you know, need assistance, uh, something private that you want to send me, shoot me through this course messages link. Next is your grades and the grade book should be aligned basically uh, by due date so you can track and see how your grades are calculated and, and how you've been successful through the course. Just a reminder that in many quizzes there are things that I have to go in and manually grade and so I do go in and check those uh, on a regular basis to make sure that everything is up to date and successful. And then the final two links down here uh, are just uh, college informational items that will be helpful for you uh, should you need assistance uh, from the uh, online support staff or need to know some of the college policies. So I'm going to end this recording just by uh, saying good luck to you in the course. As always, if you have questions, challenges, problems, or need assistance or guidance on how to be successful in the class, 
please stop by my office, send me an email, I would be glad to help you out. Good luck.